Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to play your Wii backups on the Virtual Wii and your Wii U. Your Wii U and your Virtual Wii will need to be homebrewed to do this. I have two videos linked below showing you how to do that. This tutorial doesn't always work if you're using SDHC SD cards. Please use one which is 2GB or smaller. And finally, you'll need a USB storage device, a flash drive or a hard drive. Make sure it's USB 2.0. USB 3 doesn't always work. Now, let's get started. Click the Google Drive link below and it will take you to this page. Click the download button at the top right corner. Save it to your desktop, then extract it. All you have to do here is move the two folders to the apps folder which is on the root of your Wii U SD card. After that, eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U. Now open the Wii menu on your Wii U. Start the homebrew channel which we installed last time. You should see two new apps named Wii Flow and D2X. Now load D2X CIOS installer. Make sure you follow all of these steps exactly as I am. For the first option, press the right button once on your Wii Remote. Then press the A button and it will install the first part. Press A to continue. Navigate to the second option and change it to 57. Then change the third option to 250. Then press A. Press A to continue. Now change the second option to 58. And finally, change the third option to 251. Then press A. Now, press the B button to return to the homebrew channel. Go to this website which is also linked below. Download the version of WBFS Manager which matches your PC specs. If you don't know which one to choose, choose the one I'm downloading. If that one doesn't work, try another one. It won't start up unless you choose the correct version so there's nothing to worry about there. It 
extract the folder, then run the installer file which is inside. WBFS Manager can interfere with your antivirus sometimes, so if it prompts you, add it to your trust list or disable your antivirus while you're running the program. Just make sure to re-enable it after. When WBFS Manager loads, select the drive letter of the storage device you want to use to put the backups on. Make sure you choose the correct drive letter or it might corrupt the drive. If you don't know which drive letter it is, open up File Explorer and you can see it in there. After you've selected the correct drive letter, press the format button. This deletes everything on the drive so the Wii U can read it. If you want to use this drive with your PC in the future, you'll have to format it normally. But don't do this if you still want to play the Wii backups on your Wii U. After you've formatted the drive with WBFS Monitor, click the load button to access the drive. Now, click the browse button. Navigate to where you keep your Wii ISO backups and choose the ones you want to play on the Wii U. Press open, then press add to drive. This is going to take a while. I recommend only choosing one game for the first try, because it can take several hours if you're choosing lots and lots of games. When it's finished, safely eject the drive, turn your Wii U off, then plug it into your Wii U while it's turned off into the USB port shown on screen now. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday for a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.